YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraven here with another video happy Thursday happy NFL kickoff day um, I love y'all team keep it clean I appreciate you all for supporting in like a million different ways uh, shout out to all the team keep it clean patrons um, shout out to every single subscriber here whether you watch every video or you only watch a few or you get tired of them you like you know what I, I gotta take a little break and then you go on a hiatus and you come back later it's all good, man. I love y'all, and I really do appreciate y'all. Um, make sure you lift people up. Don't tear them down, because this world does enough tearing down to people as it is, so people don't need you tearing them down, too. And another thing, it's okay to disagree. There's nothing wrong with disagreeing with what somebody has to say, but do it respectfully, please, because that just makes the conversation that much better. When two people can have a conversation, and even though they don't agree on stuff, the fact that they still respect each other, man, y'all... <laughs> Like for real, man. Y'all don't know how long that goes, man. Um, another thing, shout out to Ravens Media Team, man. Ray Ravens Media Team, their social media team, their media team, their video production team, they absolutely kill it. Um, now with Harbaugh, that clip that's been going around with when J.K. Dobbins first went down, that thing hit me straight up. That 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 hit me, man. Um, because it was just. It was a different side of Harbaugh. And y'all know, like, with Harbaugh, I got some things that I feel like he could improve on. Overall, he's not a bad coach at all. Um, but I got, I do have some things I feel like he could do better uh, in, in certain situations and whatnot. Um, but no matter how you feel about Harbaugh, um, that, that, when you watch that clip, it's like, whoa, okay now. Um, it just, it was powerful, man. And I, I really appreciated it. Uh, just how he empathized with, and sympathized with the players about J.K. Dobbins, and they, they empathize with him too. Lamar Jackson, Anthony Levine sitting there talking to him, say, hey, it's football. It, it would have happened, whether it happened now or happened the first drive in Vegas or whatnot. If it was going to happen, it was going to happen. That's the unfortunate part of football that we always talk about, man. Um, but anyway, speaking of the Ravens, uh, the media team, uh, they brought us this presser that we're getting ready to talk about that happened uh, yesterday. We were going to talk about it yesterday, but obviously some things kind of came up, but it's all good. So it started off with uh, Bradley Bozeman. Um, Bozeman, he talked about, he was asked about how good the Ravens have been in week ones. And he said, no, uh, that's cool and all, but this is a new year. Raiders got a good defensive line. And, and he gave them respect, as was expected. Like, I ain't expecting to be like, oh, man, we about to blow them boys out. But no, they, you don't do that as a football player, man, because you will learn your lesson quick. Uh, if you run your mouth too much, oh, yeah, it, it, you'll learn your lesson quick. Uh, right now, Tyree Phillips is listed as a starter at left guard. Um, will he be the starter? Will it be him or Ben Powers? I would think it would be Ben Powers because they started Ben Powers that last preseason game. But sometimes you just never know with the Ravens. They they like throwing curveballs and whatnot. So I we'll see. But he said that he's been helping Tyree Phillips, uh, especially in that left guard role, been trying to give him like tips and stuff and help him out. Uh just to look out for him. And he said he's been growing as a player. So will we see that growth uh, on Monday night football? <laughs> we'll see. Um he also talked about Le'Veon Bell. They asked him, how does it feel to get Le'Veon Bell? And he said straight up, it doesn't matter who's back there. We're going to be blocking for whoever is back there in the backfield. And I said, okay, that, that's, a nice little, that's a nice little answer right there. Uh, <laughs> he got asked about his contract situation. And also, it was a two-part question. He got asked about the status of his contract situation. Then he got asked about how he felt about Mark Andrews' contract situation. And he said with his, he said he just hit a play football in the Super Bowl. Straight up. That's it. That's it. And he said, with well, Mark Andrews, I'm happy for Mark Andrews. Happy for him. Um, and, and that sort of transition to uh, Mark Andrews coming to the podium. And Mark Andrews, when he spoke, like, you could just tell there was that genuine happiness. And, I mean, you could understand the guy just got, what, a $56 million deal. <laughs> So I will be happy too, man. I'm gonna walk around smiling. You're gonna see all 32 of my teeth. If I got extra ones in there, if I got some missing, you're gonna see it all. Cause I just signed a $56 million contract. Oh yeah. Yeah, you you're gonna definitely see it. Um but anyway, Mark Andrews, he just thanked the whole Ravens uh organization, staff, coaches, players, everybody from top to bottom. Everybody. He mentioned them by name. Uh, and he just he showed his respect to them because they are all obviously part of the process, man. 
Uh, he said that he wants everybody to know that he's still going to give it his all. Because, you know, it's been said and it's been seen that some players, when, when they get paid, they're like, oh, okay, I got, I, got my, I got my bread. I'm good now. Let me just chill. Let me just relax. Mark Andrews said no. I, I'm, I'm going to still give him my all. Uh, and he said going into this season, whether the deal happened or not, he said he was going to be fine either way. Now, I know <laughs> a lot of players, they do say that uh, after they get their deals. But um, so, hey, we'll never know. But a lot of players say that before they get the deals. But they just saying that. So they, they don't want to put it on blast. It ain't, it, nobody's going to be like, man, I wanted this deal. Well, some people actually would. But a lot of people won't be like, man, I wanted this deal to happen before the season. I wanted to just get it over with, get it out the way. Well, TJ Watt, he's going through that right now. Um, so we'll see what happens with him. But Mark Andrews said he would have been good either way. But I'm sure he's better now that it's done. Um, and he said that he didn't know when the deal was going to happen. But over the past couple of weeks, stuff just started like ramping up. Uh, so obviously his agent and Eric DaCosta and him, they were in talks and whatnot. And they were able to make it happen. So if you want something to go down, if you want something to happen, you'll find a way. Uh, he said the job is not done. He talked about his family, how uh, they were just ecstatic for him. And I mean, you could understand why somebody in your family, especially your immediate family, especially your close family, they get paid all that money. Yeah, your family definitely going to be happy, man. Uh, and he also talked about that he didn't play football for the money. He said he loves the competition of the sport. Uh, but I'm sure the money aspect, that helps you love it even more. So I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. Even if he would have said he played it for money, I wouldn't be mad at that. Okay. What do you go to work? You don't go to work just because you love your job. You also want to make money from it. I ain't mad at that. But anyway, <laughs> he also talked about um, that he said he's not where he needs to be right now. He said that um, it's definitely more room for him uh, to grow. And I, I could definitely uh, see that. We can all see that. Mark Andrews is a very, very good tight end. He's a, he is a very productive tight end. That dude puts in work. He gets numbers. Mark Andrews does his thing. Uh, he could use some improvements, but like he, he said himself, he's, everybody, we could all use improvements. And that's true. You can never stop. I think it was Keith Williams that said it in the press before. Never stop trying to improve yourself, man. There's all, always something that you can get better at. Always. Every time. So shout out to Mark Andrews for that. Um... Somebody asked him, I forgot who it was. They said, what do you want, what, what's going to be your first purchase now that you got your deal? And he said, it's, it's really not anything that I want to buy. Um, I, uh, he said that I just want to invest and watch my money grow. I said, okay, I ain't mad at that either, man. Uh, and he said that uh, with, with Lamar's contract, because you know, you know that they, they got to ask about Lamar's contract. I think... And so for some of the media guys, I think it's like written on a paper or something. Hey, ask about Lamar Jackson's contract. Even though you're not talking to Lamar, you got to ask somebody else about it. Um, he said that the goal is to, to win a Super Bowl. That's it. That's it. The goal is to win a Super Bowl. He said they got a special connection. He said Lamar been. He said that he, Lamar throws a great ball. Um, and I, I would agree that uh, Mark Andrews would feel that way because he caught a lot of them from Lamar ever since their rookie year. Ever since that, man, real quick, man, shout out to Ozzie Newsome, man, because this dude in 2018, man, this dude, <laughs> he set these boys up, man, he set these boys up for a long time, man, that 2018 draft, man, that thing was crazy, man, it's crazy, like, oh, man, just a bunch of bangers in that draft, man, Whew. Anyway, he said uh, something that I really like. He said the game has gotten really slow for Lamar Jackson. Um, and he said, and, and this was something that I really, really appreciated. And it's not something that I think about too often. But when you think about it, it's like, oh, okay, wow, that, that's true. He said that Lamar Jackson always protects his wide receivers and that he is very conscious uh, over where he places th the football. And I was like, oh, well, um, that's true. I, I And I was like, I, I just, I couldn't believe that. I couldn't believe, not that I couldn't believe it. I could believe it because we see Lamar's game. But I was just, it's just something that I n never really thought of like that before. And it was like, okay. All right, that's, that's a really good point. 
So I appreciated Mark Andrews for bringing that out. Now, um, after Mark Andrews, the guy with the deepest voice in the NFL, he came to the podium to speak, and that was Calais Campbell. And again, I, I try to do Calais Campbell voice, but my voice ain't even close to his, man. Um, he said they're ready for week one. It, it's, it's finally here. It's time. Uh, let, let's get it. Uh, he talked about Derek Carr. said Derek Carr can make every throw. He's got great ability in the play-action game. and said he's a quick quarterback, and it's going to be a challenge. And, and that's true. That's true. Uh, Derek Carr, uh, he, very streaky guy, man. Streaky type of quarterback, man. When he's hot, he's hot. When he's not, he's not. Um, I feel like he can get hot quick, but he can get cold quick, too. Uh, but Derek Carr is cool, man. Um, with... Calais Campbell, with the fans not being in the stadium last year and them returning this year, he said that uh, they didn't realize how much they appreciated fans until the fans were gone. Uh, and he said it's going to be an intense game, especially since it matters. He even talked about how in the preseason uh, he could just feel the energy there and the games didn't even count yet. But now that it's regular season, oh, yeah, you already know what time it is, man. Um, he talked about uh, Matt Abike, uh how – Matt Abike has been getting so much praise from all these reporters and stuff, and analysts, and da-da-da-da. Uh, but he said you can't read the noise, man, because you don't want to get too relaxed. Like, you don't want to feel like, all right, yeah, I made it. I'm good. I ain't, I ain't got to really work on stuff now because I'm good. Everybody says I'm good, so I'm good. He said, no, you can't, you can't listen to it like that, man. And you got to always continue to work. And he said he appreciates uh, Matt Abike's work ethic uh, and what he brings to the table. Um, he also talked about how he has a lot of experiences that he can uh, share to help teach and help the young guys grow. Um, and he said he got that opportunity from Donnell Dockett, who we all remember uh, from the Cardinals. He said he really pushed him and said that it's nice when, you, when guys see your potential and they push you and they try to help you reach it. Um, and with Calais Campbell, like we were just saying, he, he said that he has a lot of experience that he can share with the younger guys and help teach the younger guys and help push the younger guys. He doesn't have to do that. He, he does not have to do that. His job title is defensive end or defensive lineman for the Ravens. His job title does not say coach. His job title does not say mentor. His job title does not say I need to give advice to XX and X player. It's not his job. He don't got to do that. But the fact that he's willing to do that and the fact that he likes to do that, that speaks volumes. That's why so many of us. Um, again, y'all know I, I didn't think it was going to happen. After they didn't sign him before with Justin Houston, I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess that ship sailed. That's that. Even though he was still a free agent, I was like, ah, I don't think it's going to happen. But it happened, and we appreciated it. it. It gave us another level of excitement for this Ravens team and this Ravens defense. But we appreciated that move even more when we would see the pictures and hear the stories. Oh, Justin Houston, he's staying after practice with Adafi away, with Dalen Hayes. He's talking to Tyus Bowser. And again, Justin Houston, he was signed to the Ravens. His job title is outside linebacker, not outside a practice coach. No. That's not his job. He doesn't have to do that. But the fact when, when players do that, you appreciate it that much more. When people do that in your life, you appreciate it that much more. Somebody pull you to the side or somebody who you may work with or may one of your friends, somebody in some way, form, fashion, they really try to go that extra mile to help you. You appreciate it that much more, especially when they don't have to when it's not their job title. It'd be one thing if you hire like a coach or you hired a mentor or something and their job title is coach, mentor, life coach, all that. All right, cool. Yeah, but if that's not their job and they don't have to do that for you, they're not getting paid to do that for you. That goes a long way and you definitely appreciate it that much more. So team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all that much more. Let's see if today is another crazy day with the Ravens because they just keep making stuff. Anyway. Um, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for always watching. Hope y'all have a great Thursday or really whenever you're watching this, man. Whenever you're watching this, shout out to you. Appreciate y'all. We are out.